Okay, boys and girls. The first book is The Christmas Extravaganza Hotel by Tracy Cordoric, illustrated by Tony Neal, and published by Tiger Tales. Here we go. Far from the hustle and bustle of town, Bear was ready for a nice, simple Christmas. His cozy fire popped and danced, and his candle cast a golden glow. But as he opened his favorite book, he heard a loud noise. Beep, beep! Bear looked up. Who could that be? Hello, said a cheery little frog. I've arrived for my Christmas extravaganza. Show me the lights. Show me the tree. The flying reindeer. Let's get Christmas started. Frog waved a brochure under Bear's nose. The Christmas Extravaganza Hotel? Red Bear, I think you have the wrong place. No, no, Frog tapped the map. It's right here, see? Bear looked closer. Oh, your map's upside down. That hotel is on the other side of the world. But it can't be wailed frog. I had it all planned. I've even knitted a hat. Look, now I'll never get to my hotel in time for Christmas. Bear thought very hard. You could always stay with, um, me, he said kindly. I'm going to have a wonderful Christmas. You are, frog brushed his tears away. Hooray! So he hopped on in, drank a huge mug of hot chocolate, then dozed off by Bear's cozy fire. As Frog slept, Bear flipped through the brochure. A singing tree, he gasped. A supersonic sleigh ride? Frog won't find that here. But then he looked at his small snoring guest, dreaming of a magical Christmas. Poor little fellow, whispered Bear. Let's see what we can do. Bear, Bear, called Frog the next morning. Can we please start our Christmas extravaganza? Of course, yawned Bear. So Frog checked the brochure. Oh, so do you have an all-you-can-eat North Pole breakfast bar? Not exactly, replied Bear. But we could make ice cookies. Really? With Christmas sprinkles? Show me, show me, Frog cried. Bear handed him an apron, and they started to bake. And although it wasn't exactly like the brochure, Frog liked it. But suddenly, Frog looked around. Bear, where is your Christmas tree? He asked. My brochure has a big one that sings. Smiling, Bear led Frog outside. How about this one? Frog looked up and up and up. Wow! Bear's beautiful tree twinkled with frost. And look, cried Frog as two little robins hopped about, chirping brightly. It even has singing decorations and snow. Do you have a snow machine? No, no, chuckled Bear. That's real snow. Frog soon found he loved real snow and long walks through the woods and picnic lunches. Frog found footprints in the snow. Let's follow them, smiled Bear. They found three real reindeer. Now we can have a sleigh ride, exclaimed Frog. But Bear shook his head. I'm sorry, but these aren't Santa's reindeer, he said, and I don't have a sleigh. But Bear knew exactly what Frog would like instead. Snowball fight! Hooray! cheered Frog. And that's not even in the brochure. They played until the sky turned inky blue, and now for the best 
heart, Frog cried. It's time to turn on the Christmas lights. He pulled out his brochure and showed Bear a photo with strings and strings of lights flashing away. Oh, Bear sighed. His Christmas lights weren't like those. Bear hurried home and lit all of his candles. Will these lights work? He asked. Frog blinked. They weren't quite the extravaganza he expected, but Bear had been so kind. Why, yes, exclaimed Frog, putting on a big smile. So, um, Christmassy. They watched the golden flames in silence. Then suddenly Bear's eyes lit up. Follow me, Frog, he said, grabbing hats and scarves. What about these lights? Bear pointed to the sky. Oh, Bear, gasped, gasped Frog. They're perfect. When they went back inside, Frog said, What a magical day, and it wasn't over yet. Shh, whispered Bear. What's that jingling? It's coming from the rooftop. A frog checked the brochure. Not a thing about jingles. It must be Santa, Bear exclaimed. But we need to go to sleep quickly. They dove under the blankets and shut their eyes tight. Psst, Bear, are you sleeping? I am, chattered Frog. But Bear was already snoring. On Christmas morning, there was a huge present by the fire. Bear, squealed Frog. Look, it's from Santa. He came. They each took an end of the ribbon and pulled. A sleigh, beamed Bear. Why, Frog, this is just what we need. <clears throat> For our sleigh ride. Supersonic, cheered Frog. Can I come back again next year? Your Christmas hotel is the best. And that was The Christmas Extravaganza Hotel by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Tony New, and published by Tiger Tales.